Hello there. Today we're going to be taking the paint off this old base body. This is a Hondo made in Japan in the 70s. And the old paints seen better days. It's got some big chips and dents. So we're going to take all this off and see what we're left with. And then think about putting a new finish on it. See, I've already done the top and it comes quite easily. I've been using a heat gun and a spatula. So that's what we're going to do, continue to do now on the back. So as you can see, it doesn't take too long. I was just using the heat gun on its lower setting so we didn't burn any of the wood. And then getting the spatula under that after it heated up and lifting it while it was still soft. If you leave it too long, the finish will actually get hard again. So you want to do it while it's still gummy and soft. It lifts, just lifts straight off then. Yeah, so now we're going to do the other half. There. That's the back going there. The side's a bit more difficult because you can't clamp it down. So you've just got to hold it and be careful not to burn yourself. Uh, other thing is, make sure you wear a mask if you're going to do this yourself because the fumes that come off aren't good. Um, so that's what we're going to do now, go on to the sides. Um, we'll be done. So I used the heat gun on this one because it was a modern poly catalyzed finish. If it had been nitrocellulose lacquer, like on Gibson's and guitars before the 70s, uh, it would have been a different story. You can just put lacquer thinner or acetone on, on a cloth, wipe it, and it will come straight off. But you can't do that with poly finishes. Uh, there's nothing you can do, nothing you can put on it, which will take it straight off like that. Uh, so you've got to either sand it and sand it, for a long time, or you can use the heat gun. The heat guns, as you've just seen, is nice and quick and it leaves a good finish afterwards. So next step now, we're going to sand all this and then decide on what finish to put on after. I um, hope this has been some help if anyone else is thinking about doing something similar. Um, thank you for watching.